Hi everyone, welcome back to another Proptini Brothers home tour. Today we're in Floral Drive and I'm about to take you to a 2 bed 2 bath patio unit sized at 1,023 square feet. Now if you're someone who is into indoor and outdoor living, you like new age facilities and you want to keep your quantum at the $1.1 million mark, then stick around as I take you to this home tour. Let's go! So this unit is nicely tucked away from that leaf landing area over there. You do get that sense of privacy as you come home. So as you enter the home, immediately you'll notice there's not much wasted space in terms of the foyer area. You don't get a very long walkway and immediately on your left is your kitchen area. They have done these two swing doors which enter into the kitchen here. The moment you enter, you also notice this big opening right here. Now originally, there were some storage cabinets above and a glass panel below. What they've done is decided to hack that wall down and do a semi-open concept kind of kitchen by four windows windows which then stack up towards on this side. Double galley kind of layout. Countertops, they've already changed it up to quartz, changed back in 2018. So still very durable storage cabinets down below. You have three open burner system over here and the oven below. Washer come dryer as well. You have a large window and this is of course good for you when you're doing your heavy cooking. Most of the time you'll find that ground floor units, your kitchen or your yard will be facing towards a communal area in the middle. But right here, because there is no gate access to the leaf landing, this becomes a very private and dead space outside so you don't get a lot of traffic passing by here and because of that, you do get full privacy in your kitchen. Now before I show you the rest of the space, let's talk a little bit about this project. Park Olympia has a 99 years channel completed back in 2015. 486 units here ranging from your 1 bedders all the way to your 4 bedders. And they're spread across 8 different blocks here that are about 7 to 8 stories tall. This along with the other projects in this vicinity are all low rise in nature because we're very close to the Changi International Airport so there's some height restrictions over there. But what that means is also that from the patio of this unit, you can also still get a very nice clear look of the sky. Let's talk a little bit about the site plan as well as where we're located. The site plan is very well designed because you'll find that most of the sporting facilities are tucked towards the back of the lamp port next to the expressway. So that means most residential blocks here will not get the noise coming from the play zones. So the internal facing stacks do get a very nice water body facing. For every block, the units are laid out in a flower-like petal format. And the purpose of that is to provide for varying views as well as facings within the development to cater to different needs. So our unit here sits on the southwest direction and this is facing towards the internal tranquil jacuzzi pool as well as the cabanas. Now generally, this is an adult pool for relaxation as well as for lounging in the sun so you don't have to worry too much about the noise at all. So this was developed by Co Brothers Development Private Limited and the concept of the project was derived from the Olympics and hence the name Park Olympia. And so there are a lot of sporting themed facilities around the condominium as well which sets it apart from other projects. So towards the left hand side is where you can find the main swimming pool as well as the main condo entrance. You will be able to find an air conditioned recreation badminton court, 50 meters left pool, indoor gym, aqua gym, the kids you have the adventure pool, splash pool, the wading pool, tranquil jacuzzi as well as your floating cabanas. There is also the putting green, basketball court, come futsal court as well and there is also a recreational rock climbing wall and even a skate park. There is also a tennis court as well as a synthetic jogging track. So now let's pull up the unit floor plan and do a little bit of analysis. So your entrance foyer is well sized, you still have space to put in your shoe cabinets but you don't have a long walkway per se. Kitchen area, comfortable sized dining area, living zones, first common bedroom, patio space and right opposite your first common room you have your common bathroom and of course towards the back of the house you have your master and your master ensuite. So coming into the dining room space, I think this is a very comfortable size. Comfortably I think you can fit up to a 4 or even to a 6 seater. This nook is where you can find your DB box. Right now our owners are using this as like a display shelf area also for their home office because they've decided to place the dining set outside in the patio area which we'll check out in a bit. Now for the entire home, you'll find that in terms of flooring wise, they have done up vinyl flooring and this was installed back in 2018. So still very durable and in mint condition. As we head into the living room, they've done up this nice TV cabinet and these are all movable. You can do up the space up to your own liking. If you like to, I think this is a great space for you to do up a very nice feature wall with storage cabinets. I think this distance all the way to your main door, you have about 6 to 7 meters for you to play with. So very comfortable in terms of size, which is quite a rare feature for two bedders nowadays. And right here, you can see that they very comfortably fit in an L-shaped couch as well. And you still have a little space here in the side for a side table. So it really is a testament to the amount of space you have here in this two bedder.
Just outside the condo, you will find a bus stop and three stops from there will take you to the new development Park Como. That is also where you can find Como shops and you have fair price finest as well as some dining options over there. You will also have clinics as well as childcare centres. Four stops in the other direction will take you to Upper Changi MRT on the downtown line. For drivers, we're right next to the TPE as well as the PIE, so very convenient. Now, if you need to go to the mall for more retail options, we have Changi City Point, East Point Mall, Tampani Smart, as well as Loyang Point. Not forgetting, we are also very close proximity to Jewel at Changi, as well as the upcoming Terminal 5. They will also be developing the Changi East Industrial Zone area to cater to more air freight as well as air cargo, turning Changi into more of a cargo hub within this region. I took a ride on a Saturday night, but you know I'll make it back, you should never Coming into the patio space, this is a very generous sized patio. Great for you, let's say you are someone who is into hosting your friends and family quite a bit. They place this storage cabinet over here. They even have space to fit up to an eight-seater table. Now you have a side gate over here which leads out towards this staircase over here and this is only shared by your neighbor next door, so very private in that sense. So the large greenery over here also gives you sort of a privacy screen. You also have zip tracks already nicely installed for you. These are the manual ones without the motor. The flooring are all done with this composite decking. If we pan upstairs to look, this is where the original shelter line would stop and the owners have already extended out the shelter in terms of installing this trellis so all bedrooms will get direct access to the patio space so this is really the focal point of the home Now before we dive a little bit deeper into the numbers, we also want to do a quick introduction on the Mariam as well as Floral Drive enclave first. Right here in this enclave is a full private residential enclave with 15 condominiums and you also have some mixed 2 and 3 storey landed zonings towards the Toh Crescent as well as the Mariam area. Out of the 15 condominiums, 10 of them will be freehold in status and 5 of them will be 99 years leasehold. Now looking at the 99 years options, Park Olympia is the only development whose average PSF is still below the $1,200 mark despite being the same age as its 99 years counterpart. Now if we dive deeper to just look at the two better options, you'll find some options at Edelweiss, Balota Park, Carissa Park, Azilia Park, Dahlia Park, Estella Gardens as well as Avila. They are sized at about 900 square feet and above. These belong to the larger format two bedders that were built in the mid-1990s all the way to the early 2000s. Those come without balconies or outdoor spaces. Now if you're looking to have a mix of indoor as well as outdoor living, you have Hedges Park 969 square feet, $1.2 million bringing their PSF to 1238 You also have Palm Isle, size at 947 square feet, $1.2 million, PSF at 1267 So this unit here takes our PLB tri-factor boxes because you're buying the unit of good size at 1023 square feet. In terms of overall quantum, that's also well below the $1.1 million mark and our asking PSF is only at 1075 So if you're looking to keep your quantum below the $1.1 million mark, then this will be quite suitable for you. So earlier on, we talked about being close proximity to Changi Airport. Of course, there you have all your aviation industry. We also have Changi Business Park, which is very close by to here. And on top of that, there is also the Changi North Logistic Park. Of course, these areas will then be the main providers of your rental pool demand. Now, if we take a look at the past rental contracts here in Park Olympia, you will find that within 2023 itself, every month, averagely, you have about five to six rental contracts being transacted. And if we take a look at the bigger two bidders, those are already transacting in the range of 3,005 to 4,002. Now, let's say you're a young couple, aged 35 years old and you're intending to buy your first matrimonial home, you can then choose to enter this at a low quantum of $1.1 million. Stay here, use this as a pivot home concept. When you're ready to then upgrade to a bigger space, you can purchase another property. Go onto this unit here at Park Olympia as a rental play concept. Now assuming you enter at $1.1 million and you take a loan of 75% spread across 30 years at an interest rate of 3%, that will bring your loan amount up to $825,000 which also means that your monthly repayment will come up to $3,478. So if you decide to rent this place out at $3,500 or even $4,000, that can comfortably cover your entire mortgage portion and you might still have some leftover cash for you to pay your MCSD fees as well as your property tax. So from the patio, you have sliding doors which open up into your first common bedroom. The only feature you have will then be this wardrobe over here which is original from the developer. Otherwise, these are all movable items. Right now, this is a kids room. You can fit up to a queen bed. You still have space for side table and maybe like a small work desk. You can also choose to hack down the wall in between the master and the common bedroom and do like an open large master bedroom if you want to. Here in the common bath, you have a floating vanity design. It's already been changed out to quartz as well. And right above, you have storage cabinets with mirrors. In that corner is where your 
standing shower area will be natural ventilated as well towards the back and then towards the back of the house this is where your master bedroom will be tucked away in this corner is a very large wardrobe that's floor to ceiling queen bed you have space to go up to a king master bathroom is good in size slightly larger than a common bathroom of course same floating vanity design over here with the same cord stop as well and a standing shower area in that corner it's also naturally ventilated above so that is great you have two large windows So once again to recap, in terms of total size, this is 1,023 square feet, 2 bed, 2 bath patio unit here in this project called Park Olympia. At the $1.1 million quantum, feel free to contact us, our contact details are right here below. Don't forget to follow us on all our socials, we're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, as well as TikTok. Once again, my name is Jun Wei, from Tilling Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Okay, we start from the flooring again. No, let's talk from the top. The lift landing is situated over there, again. Can we do again? Can we do again? I think uh, this uh, cut scene you can see me say again, again, again. Probably you can count how many agains I do this. Probably like 30 times already. And towards the top and your bottom, you of course have your la, 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 la. double galley kind of layout. But the. And uh, one, two, three.